Hello friends. Steel reinforcement bars are usually manufactured in a length of up to 12 meters. This is because it is easier and more practical to transport them in shorter lengths due to transportation limitations. If the length of steel reinforcement needed for a building component is longer than 12 meter, then two bars are joined together to make it long enough. This is done to ensure that the structure has a continuous reinforcement throughout its length. Couplers and lapping are two different methods used to join steel bars in reinforced concrete structures. In this video, we will discuss differences between these two. So let us start. Method A coupler is a mechanical device which looks like sleeve that is attached to the end of each rebars to be connected. The two rebars are then inserted into the coupler and tightened using a torque wrench creating a connection that is as strong as rebars themselves. Whereas in case of lapping, two rebars are overlapped at a certain length and tied together using wire to transfer load from one bar to another. Connection Strength Couplers provide a stronger and more reliable connection between rebars than lapping as there is no risk of slippage or movement of the bars. Lapping, on the other hand, relies on friction and overlapping length of the rebars, which can weaken over time due to various factors such as temperature changes, stress, and corrosion. Length The length of the coupler can be adjusted as per the requirement. Whereas in case of lapping, the overlap length is generally fixed as per the design code, which is typically 40 times the diameter of the bar. Space Couplers require less space than lapping, which makes them ideal for areas with tight spacing constraints. Whereas in case of lapping, a certain length of reinforcement bar needs to be left for overlapping, which increases the space requirement. Time Couplers can save time and labor compared to lapping, especially in large-scale construction projects. They require less time and effort to install than lapping, as they do not require cutting and overlapping of the rebars. On the other hand, lapping can be time-consuming and labor-intensive, as it involves cutting and bending the rebars to create the overlap. Structural Integrity Couplers provide better structural integrity and continuity of reinforcement than lapping. They create a smooth and continuous path for the transfer of stresses across the joint, reducing the risk of cracking or failure of the structure. Whereas lapping can create stress concentrations at the overlap point, which can weaken the overall strength of the structure. Cost Couplers can be more expensive than lapping, especially for small-scale projects. However, they can significantly reduce the consumption of construction time, labor, and reinforcing steel which can make them more cost-effective in the long run. Quality Couplers provide better quality control as they eliminate the need for field lapping, which is prone to errors. This ensures consistent quality and performance of the reinforcement. Installation Couplers are easy to install and can be done quickly by skilled workers without requiring any special training. Whereas lapping can be time consuming and lead to congestion within the concrete due to the increased amount of rebars used. Material Couplers can be made of different materials such as steel, titanium and composite materials. Lapping on the other hand only uses steel reinforcement. Efficiency Couplers are generally considered more efficient than lapping in terms of time and labor required for installation. Couplers can be quickly installed using handheld tools. Whereas lapping requires careful placement of the reinforcing bars and tying them together. Design Couplers can simplify the design and construction of reinforced concrete and reduce the amount of reinforcement required. They are designed for use with worldwide grades of rebar. Reliability 
couplers can provide greater reliability in reinforcement splices than lapping. As they are less likely to have imperfections such as low quality welds or inadequate length of laps. So ultimately, the choice between coupler and lapping often depends on the specific requirements of the project and the cost benefit analysis of the two methods. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.